So admittedly, it is uncharacteristically early for me to be awake, but I was on YouTube studio last night and uh, noticed that there are a whole bunch of new subscribers to the Bastard Overland channel. So I figured we better go overlanding. good about this spot a little windy up here on the hill maybe I'll go down um, into the wash or something get a little more uh, little shelter but let me just flip the camera around and show you where I am see I got a nice spot here up on top of the hill right in the front view of the buttes just here on the other side of the truck off in the distance, the Galeuros. 
There's like a three quarter moon tonight. Oh wait, what? Okay, maybe a little more than that. The Catalinas down there. And again, it's a little windy up here on the top. Maybe I'll just drive down into the wash. But I'm gonna say that's a good day of driving. Ready for some dinner and a nap. All right, so I decided to go ahead and uh, drive down into the wash to camp for the night. And uh, I thought it might be fun to just kind of get some night shots here. Just love driving through the desert at night, right at dusk. Absolutely amazing. Love it. Alright, good morning. Well, it's not exactly morning, but it is the next day. And uh, I've hiked up to one of my favorite little spots. You guys have actually seen this location before and some flyovers, but I've never shown it to you from this perspective. A uh, couple of things going on. I wanted to try out my new microphone and see if the uh, wind noise is uh, mitigated good enough. But also, just wanted to show you this spot, and I think. While I'm out today, we're going to stop by an old ranch that's abandoned. It's very interesting. And then I'm going to talk to you guys about what, where the truck is right now in terms of the restoration and our build out uh, and what the plans are going forward. Uh, so for right now, let's just kind of show off the view here. So obviously you can see the truck in the background. As we look to the south and spin around here. Gorgeous views, Catalinas, and uh, up here on this little peak, there's this interesting little artifact here. I suspect that is, or was, uh, an aviation beacon of some sort at one time. So it's pretty cool. Looking off to the east here, and that spot right there is pretty cool to get out onto. You can see down into the wash and uh, this is an awesome but scary place to come in monsoon season you know the visibility is amazing the uh, time-lapse opportunities for the clouds are amazing lightning is the scary thing but anyway that's this spot let's get back on the trail
out doing Land Cruiser stuff. Due to a uh, error in, uh, you know, time assessment, uh, we're not going to make it to the ranch uh, by daylight. So I did make it to this beautiful ridge. I can just turn around and show you. It's a beautiful view from here, and I do want to go over with you where we are with the build and what we're going to do going forward. So let me just turn the camera around so you don't have to look at my mug. Okay, so you guys have already seen the video that talks about the engine, how we did that all new. Let me just close this down. And of course, you've seen the tour of the, uh, of the Camp Tech interior. So, what do we lack right now? Well, right now, let me just zoom out a little bit. What we're lacking right now is uh, electrical wiring for all of the components that are inside for uh, our solar to our battery storage and so forth. Uh, as long and as well as the plumbing. Um, so let me straighten out the camera here a little bit. All right. Uh, so I have Chris Marzoni and uh, another friend working, helping me with those things. I've never really done it. Chris is going to do the plumbing and there's going to be one little change. Uh, you may have seen in the tour that we had a 19 gallon tank right in here and I've temporarily taken that out because I'm exploring options for putting two separate tanks in here with the idea that because my seat uh, my rear seat my uh, rear heater is right under the seat I'm thinking it might be possible that I could uh, have two separate tanks one for water that is heated and uh, the other for water that is just ambient temperature uh, how feasible that is I don't know I'm exploring it and then of course uh, uh, Mr. Madison is helping me draw out the schematics for all the electric. So, what are we going to do with the suspension and so forth? Well, as you can see, we're on uh, we're on 35-inch Cooper STT Pros. We're going to stay that way. Uh, I don't want to go any bigger than that. Uh, but what we do have as part of the drivetrain is we do have the complete front and rear axle assemblies, hub to hub that we've procured from Toyota. So we are gonna go brand new with the, uh, uh, with the axle assemblies with the exclusion of the uh, rear differential. Uh, they do not sell that as an assembly anymore. However, uh, they had absolutely everything we needed for the, uh, for the front. And then we're probably gonna go with the three inch Delta um, radius arms and then as far as the uh, springs and shocks I have not made that selection I know that we're gonna stay at about three inches of lift I just don't want to go any higher than that because this vehicle is really meant for uh, touring and not so much for you know hardcore rock crawling it's more of a, a liveaboard and then of course over here on the outside I have to ask myself and I'm gonna ask you is it worth painting it? Oh, by the way, I do need to get my, my uh, Yoda Tech wind doors in or uh, gull wings in. I have those. Those need to go in. But is it worth painting it? I mean, right now, I'm driving through all these really narrow, brushy trails, and I'm not worried about it one bit, you know? And you can see the hood is the classic faded hood. But the thing is, I don't have to worry about it, you know, at all. So, I don't know, you tell me what would you do about the exterior. And uh, if you guys are enjoying this content, you know, please let me know and I'll continue to make more of it. And thanks for hanging out. Talk to you soon. <laughs>